I'm David with The Barbecue Lab, and I want to give you a tour of the Renaissance Cooking Systems ice maker that we installed in our outdoor kitchen. The way that ice is made here is really pretty fascinating. It's totally different from the traditional horizontal ice molds that we're used to that fill with water and it dumps when frozen. Instead, the tray remains vertical and it's technically called an evaporator. The ice maker has a water trough that holds a fixed amount of water. From there, the water flows to the freezing evaporator surface. The portion of water that doesn't contain mineral impurities freezes and sticks to the ice cube molds. The water that has impurities falls back into the water trough, and during the ice making process, fresh water constantly enters into the water trough as the water in the trough freezes continuously in the evaporator. Once that part of the cycle is complete, the water pump stops and the unit will begin to harvest the ice. Now, in order to do so, the evaporator gets heated up, causing the cubes to slide as a unit off the evaporator and into the storage bin. The entire process of freezing and harvesting one batch of ice takes about 20 minutes, depending on the size of the cube. Now, the size of ice can be adjusted, sort of. The dimensions of the cubes remain pretty much the same. However, at the smallest size, the cubes are basically hollow, whereas at the largest size, they're completely solid. In order to adjust the size of the cube, you have to press and hold the adjust button for about three seconds until the harvest yellow light begins blinking. Then you can press the minus or plus button depending on your desired adjustment. Each time you press and release the button, the associated LED will flash. When you reach the point where all three lights blink at once, you've reached the regular midway setting. You can continue pressing the button a few more times, but once it begins flashing continuously, you know you've adjusted as far as it can go in that direction. This machine can make about 50 pounds of ice per day, and we have yet to run out when we've been entertaining family and friends. We had a small family reunion here a few weeks back with 17 people who stayed with us for five days. In years past, we were constantly running to the store to buy bags of ice, but this year we didn't have to make a single ice run. The ice maker for Renaissance Cooking Systems gave us all the ice we needed for 17 people without any problem. The storage bin inside the unit could store up to 26 pounds of ice at a time, and when it's full, the ice maker will pause any new ice production. In order to get the full 50 pounds of ice per day, you'll want to empty the bin and store the ice in the freezer until you're ready to put it to use. It's important to note that this ice maker is not a freezer. The ice that is produced will melt over time and be replaced by more ice if not utilized. Of course, the more ice there is in the bin and the more solid the cube you have it set to make will determine how quickly it melts. We find that we use ours so much that there's not much time for ice to melt around here. With this ice maker from Renaissance, the door can be installed on either side of the unit to make it swing open to the right or left. I love the versatility that it gave us when we were designing our outdoor kitchen. The ice maker is UL rated for outdoor use, so it's designed to be used outside 365 days a year. If you live in a climate where there's a hard freeze during the winter months, it is suggested that you winterize the unit before any of the water freezes in the lines and could cause damage. This process is laid out fully in detail in the owner's manual, but just know that you'll want to drain the water and prop the door open a bit over the winter to combat mildew and mold. The actual size dimensions for the ice maker are 15 inches wide by 24 inches deep and 33 and a half inches high. Installation instructions advise to leave a one inch gap on the top and sides for airflow. Renaissance Cooking System gives a five year warranty on the unit and I know that was a big point for us when we were deciding which way to go for our outdoor kitchen appliances. There is a nice stainless steel surround that you can order for this ice maker when you install it in your outdoor kitchen. We ordered the surround for both this unit and the refrigerator you see next to it, and we love how it finishes off the space while allowing both appliances room for air circulation. The surround can be trimmed on the bottom to fit your counter height if necessary, and that's what we did with ours during the install. 
We're very happy with both the ice maker and the surround and look forward to many years of enjoyment with family and friends right here in the outdoor kitchen. If you'd like to learn more about the outdoor kitchen build you're seeing here and the products from Renaissance Cooking Systems we've installed, check out the other videos available on this channel. We have a collection of videos walking you through the products we used to bring our ideas to life.